Um, my mother wants to talk to you. So now I'm getting nervous. I have no idea what to expect in that video. So I've been doing this freelancing for a while now, where I draw or animate videos for people and I get paid. But somewhere along the line, I've gotten scammed. So I'm gonna tell you guys the story of how I got scammed. It all started when I posted this video on YouTube and apparently some guy liked the video so much that he decided to hit me up on Instagram with this. Hey, I love the drawing you did over on YouTube. Do you think I could pay you to do one for me? Okay, so I had no idea who this guy was, but just for the sake of this video, let's call him Salma. Wait, hold up, how about we call him Scam? Well, get it cuz he's the one that scammed me. Scam? Well. But before I could even imply, he sent this, I'll pay you blank dollars. I can't remember how much he said he was gonna pay me, but I was like... Okay, so here's my picture. When you're done, send it over, then I'll pay you. Wait, hold on. You have to pay me first. No. Do it first, and if I like it, I'll pay you. What do you mean, if you like it, you pay me? So I'm just gonna end up wasting my not-so-valuable time drawing you, and if you don't like it, I won't get paid? I mean... There's a reason why people say payment before service. That statement might as well be in the universal constitution or something, cause like it's a standard. At least I think it is. I'm I'm not sure, but I know I've heard a lot of people say it. Then I said the only reasonable solution I could think of. How about you pay 50%? Then when I'm done, you pay the remaining 50%. And he was like, Nah, I don't think that's gonna work. Why? Um, my mother wants to talk to you. So when I saw that message, I was like, hmm, his mom wants to talk to me. Wait, his mother wants to talk to me? Before I could say anything, he sends me a video. So now I'm getting nervous. I have no idea what to expect in that video. Hi, I'm Samuel's mom, and okay, I'm just gonna skip to the important part because I honestly cannot remember like 90% of what she said. Don't worry about getting paid, I can guarantee you that he'll pay. I'll make sure of it, and just in case, here's my Instagram. I still had my doubts, but then I thought about it. There's no way an actual parent will let their child scam another person, right? I mean, she's his mother, she'll definitely set him straight if he decides not to pay me. And besides, I can just hit up his mother if anything goes wrong. So I don't think I got anything to worry about. I decided I was gonna take the risk, cause I mean, no risk, no reward. At least that's what my dumb ass thought. So fast forward a few days, I'm done with his drawing, then I send him a message. Yo, I'm done, I hope you're ready to pay. And he's like, yeah, I'll pay you once I get the drawing. I send over the drawing and I patiently wait for him to reply. One hour later. Two hours later. Many unbearable hours later. At this point, I realized that this son of a gun just scammed me. Two minutes later, I finally get a notification and I'm like, maybe that's him. I probably might not have gotten scammed after all. So now I'm excited to check out the message he sent. The utter shock that was on my face when I found out what he sent. Cause he just came back to tell me this. Just so you know, I'm not gonna pay you. Before I could say anything, he blocks me. And I tried to reach out to his mother, but apparently, and not so unexpectedly, she blocks me too. I basically ended up getting scammed by this guy and his mother. And to add insult to injury, he came back to tell me that he scammed him. <laughs>